Hi, this is Bob working on the HW9 Heathkit transceiver. Two things bothered me about the transceiver when I got it. First of all, the VFO was not stable enough. I had to retune several times, even on a short QSO on CW. A 15 minute QSO, and I'd have to retune three or four times. Uh, because the VFO was drifting and, and then and then the other stations would complain hey your VFO was drifting so uh, had a problem there and the other thing that bothered me was the fact that uh, I switch from headphones to speaker I want the speaker on so that uh, people who are here uh, watching if there's other people around can hear the signals uh, so I use a speaker and then I'll switch to the headphones well I, f I did that and uh, when I put the headphones on and I hit the key my golly I just about blew my eardrums out the thing is that the side tone comes in it has a separate volume control and is separate from the uh, audio control for the receiver in the HW9 so the problem is that it's set separately and uh, when you switch from speaker to headphones then that side tone level went way up and I'm not kidding I just about blew out my eardrums so uh, I made a ohm resistor I removed the uh, coax that was the original audio input coax at Q303. Now this coax then attaches to that junction of the 1K and the 3900. At this point here, I run the side tone audio in, and I had to take another small piece of coax and join that with the coax that came from the side tone audio. I clipped it about an inch long on the board right behind the VFO box where it says tone in and left that piece there so I could reattach without having to take the circuit board out. I put a 0.01 microfarad capacitor in there for, for uh, coupling. Uh, I didn't realize there was already one on the board at the other end. I don't think that would be needed, but I got it in there and it's working fine, so I'm going to leave it alone. This is the original volume control right here. And then I added a 3900 ohm resistor here, and this line then goes to the audio output chip U306. Now, to attach that, I got in there with my wire cutters and I just clipped R369 right in half and then I soldered a little piece of wire right to the end of R369 where it goes into the board right next to U306 and that then becomes my audio input line for the audio out chip. This line here is the mute line from Q303 and what it does is it takes this point here to ground when you are transmitting. So your side tone still comes in and goes through the audio level control, the volume control, to the output chip. And you can have volume control then on your side tone through your normal audio level control on the front of the HW9. So that works really nice because you just automatically turn that down when you're putting on the headphones and you don't blast your ears so that worked out really nice now the other thing I did was for the VFO for the drifting and I'll tell you I tried a lot of capacitors I have a lot of capacitors here and I went through and I picked out uh, capacitors that were temperature compensating capacitors and here's what I wound up with that works really good C184 is now a 39 picofarad N330 capacitor C182 is a 50 picofarad N150. That was one of the original capacitors already in there, so I didn't have to change that one. C186, which is on the outside of the VFO box there, has changed to an 8 picofarad N150. I also changed C183 to a 510 picofarad N750. I'm not sure that's necessary, 
but it sure did work nice and I'm not going to change it. Uh, but uh, I did change that because I saw that in the circuit for the SB-104. You know the SB-104 is the uh, is the rig that has the very same VFO circuit in it but they use different values of capacitors. I tried using the SB-104 capacitors in this circuit and boy did they work good but the dial was all out of calibration. So with these capacitors in you can calibrate the dial and have stability. So that's what I did there guys. So those are the two changes I made to this HW9. Gee does it work great. I have made a lot of contacts with it and gotten lots of good reports. That's it for today. 73 and good DX.